Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in Python programming, that is pre-initialized string constants. Pre initialized string constants so the name itself indicates so it is with respect to this strings concept so what we actually the string contains uppercase so we'll call the uppercase characters lowercase characters numerical characters like digits and the symbols symbols so we call all these things as a string right so all these are the characters we call all these things as a characters and a group of characters we commonly call as a string now we are calling this is as pre-initialized and constants so constants means which doesn't change which doesn't change. So once the value has been initialized and we can't update that value, we can't change that value. So that's called a constant. And initialized, initialized means assigning a value, assigning a value. So, so if, for example, if you consider a is equal to 10, that implies 10 is a value stored in a variable a. So this is called initialization. Okay, assigning a value to the variable and coming to the pre, pre-initialized, pre-initialized, that means already having a value, okay, already having a value. So, in strings, we are having a pre-initialized string constants, so those are, so mainly these are available in string module string module so if you want to use all the pre-initialized string constants which we are discussing in this session first we have to import the string module so then only we can use the pre-initialized string constants from the string module right and see in order to get the uppercase characters in order to get the uppercase characters, I'll write this one here. So, string module. So, we need to import the string module. Okay. Now, so we are having, we have to import the string module and we have to call all these pre-initialized string constants with the help of string module. So, string dot ASCII underscore uppercase. So this will give all the uppercase characters. Uppercase characters. So this particular operation holds all the uppercase characters. And simply we can assign this one to any variable so that particular variable will be having all the uppercase that means a to z right similarly there is a one more a constant so string dot ascii underscore lowercase ascii underscore lowercase so this will give all the lowercase characters all the lowercase characters so no problem if you didn't understand so i will explain you in the interpreter i will demonstrate all these things in the interpreter so we'll execute this particular operation and we'll see what is the result we'll we'll execute this one and we'll see what is the result so let me give you the syntax and uh, overview about all these things then we'll move on to the interpreter next so this is nothing but a small letter small a to small j right next 
string dot dot digits digits so this will give all the digits all the digits from 0 to 9 so these are only the digits so other than that one the combination of 0 and 9 will be there so for example if you if you consider some 55 so this is a combination of digits from 0 to 9 if you consider some 75 so these two are the numbers which are in between 0 to 9 so every number is represented with 0 and 9 0 to 9 and the next one string dot uh, punctuation string dot punctuation so this will give all the symbols available all the symbols available right so whatever the symbols are available so everything will comes under this string dot punctuation right so if you assign this one to any other variable that variable will will be holding all the symbols available so full stop comma colon semicolon question mark dollar tilde symbol etc etc at the rate everything everything comes under this punctuation right so there is a one more thing so that is a string dot printable string dot printable so this will give all the characters all the characters so all the characters means small a to small z capital a to capital z 0 to 9 and symbols so whatever the symbols are there so everything so it will give all the characters right so if you assign this one to any variable so that particular variable will hold all the values that means whatever the thing we have discussed just now the four things one is uppercase lowercase digits and a punctuation everything will be it comes in this particular operation that is a printable and one more thing one more time I am repeating these are not the functions okay these are not the functions right but still these these are available in the string module and this should be called with the help of the module name so that's why we have to access with string dot ascii underscore upper string dot ascii underscore lowercase string dot digits string dot punctuation string dot printable right so here this is nothing but our module name this is nothing but our module name so we have to call all the operations with the help of module name right so hope you understood this one and so so these are already pre-initialized so already there are so this ascii underscore uppercase is a pre-initialized constant pre-initialized so so already the value is assigned to this particular constant okay what are the what is the value so capital a to capital z so that is the value assigned to this particular constant so ascii underscore lowercase is a constant which holds the value a to z small a to small z so that's why we call it as a pre-initialized string constants right so hope you understood so let's move on to the interpreter so i will demonstrate each and every operation by executing the thing right so let's move on to the interpreter hello friends so just now we have seen the syntax for uh, pre-initialized string constants. So all the pre-initialized string constants are available in the string module. So first we need to import the string module in order to use all those uh, predefined or pre-initialized string constants. So import a string and let us go with the syntax string dot ASCII underscore lowercase. So as just now we have discussed about this one. So this will return all the lowercase characters. So if you execute, so you'll get all the lowercase characters. And similarly, if you use the uppercase, ASCII underscore uppercase, so it will be initialized to all the uppercase characters. That means already, I mean pre-initialized string constants. Okay, these are pre-initialized string constants and similarly if you go with the digits 
so we'll get only the digits from 0 to 9 and similarly if you use punctuation so all the special symbols available will be assigned here so see all the special symbols available and there is a one more uh, pre initialized string constant that is a printable so which will which will give all the all, all the things which we have seen that means uh, the lowercase characters uppercase characters and uh, punctuation that means symbols digits everything see so everything first digits lowercase uppercase punctuations spaces everything will get in the printable pre initialized string constant right so hope you understood and we can make simply we can make use of all these things in our programming language okay see i'll assign a is equal to some string dot ascii underscore uppercase so automatically so this gives the values of all the uppercase assigned to a so if you write this one and print a so a will be having all the uppercase characters because we are initializing the uppercase value uppercase characters to variable a right so hope you understood this one these are all the pre-initialized string constants in a string module so all these are available in the string module and we should not call them as a functions we should not call them as a functions so these are the pre-initialized string constants right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much